Okay, now we are up to, wait, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this is part six of my box office bombs. This is a comedy that came out in the late 90s with uh, Danny Glover and Joe Pesci minus Mel Gibson. It's not one of the Lethal Weapon films because they were all hits. This one was overlooked. I think it's very funny. It was one of my favorite movies of that year. And that is Gone Fishing. I think this movie is a lot of fun. Very funny. It says, when this pair hooks up, even the fish are laughing. It is a good fun movie. I uh, think that the premise is simple. You know, the two guys want to go to Florida and catch some fish. There, the hijinks ensue. It's a very funny comedy. I was laughing the whole time, you know, with these two. They have a lot of chemistry from the Lethal Weapon films. You know, two, three, and four. Um, the villain is pretty good as some Scottish guy. Uh, very creepy. That's the thing that uh, is lacking now, you know. Villains that are actually intimidating and look creepy. Nowadays, it's just a generic, you know, clean-shaven guy as passes up as a villain. But anyway... This movie's a lot of fun. It does have big laughs, especially in the third act. Uh, you know, I'm not going to spoil anything if you haven't seen it. Danny Glover and, and Joe Pesci, the chemistry is on screen. It's there. It's fun to watch them laugh and, and, you know, have emotional moments. It's a really good film. I just thought that, you know, it flopped because maybe because it, if it wasn't, it wasn't an action movie like the Lethal Weapon sequels. But despite that, it also has some... Um, uh, what should I call it? A uh, Roseanne Arquette, who is beautiful in this movie. Uh, Lynn Whitefield, she's beautiful in the movie. You know, it's got a solid cast. Um, I don't think the cast is a problem. The script can use some work, but I don't think it's it's badly written like some of the Hangover sequels. Anyway, Gone Fishing. I hope you guys check this out. It's a PG movie, so there's not a lot of curse words. You know, kids can watch this and have a good time if they want to see something that's not animated. Um, I recently saw Frozen. It was really good. But if you want to watch something live action that's not dark and, and you know, has too many curse words, let them watch this. I don't think it's a, it's a fun time. So, so that's my box office fail number six. Next time it'll be number seven. I'll get, so I'll give it to you next week, you guys. You guys are awesome. Keep subscribing. Keep liking my videos. Keep leaving comments. Keep being awesome. And I will talk to you later. See ya.